All right, we're at 2977 Eliza Drive. Okay. Got friendly neighbors. Okay. These people over here have a pool. It's nice. I saw a few pools as I pulled in. Uh, it does connect to Boyer Farms, so you've got a lot of a lot of sidewalk to cover in here if you like going for daily walks like I do. I've got the built-in basketball hoop. I don't know if you guys will use it, but I'm sure my husband will happily volunteer to come play. These side-by-side -side garages, I know you have two SUVs. Having them side-by-side -side and a three car is really nice. Uh, when we had the side-by-sides at our old house, we could actually fit the forerunner in the garage. At our new house, it's just not even an option. So that is a really nice feature. And then with the landscaping, this is a neighborhood where your mom kind of had an issue getting landscaping installed because of the HOA. So I'm going to look through those bylaws when I get home. But I did want to send them to you last night just so that you had enough time for you two to look them over. This porch has a lot of depth. So if you wanted to do a bed swing up here, you absolutely could. Perfect place to drink your coffee in the morning. Is that Yvonne? No, it's not. Um, one of the girls in my office lives in this neighborhood. Okay, so I know you don't like your super high entries, but, or super high ceilings in large spaces. So it's nice, this is short and sweet. It's only in the entryway, so you don't have to worry about the heat getting wasted or the AC. Love a traditional staircase. And the arched windows. Okay. So we're going to go in, immediately go right. Left, you're going to have your half bath. Got a true vanity in here too. You don't have to worry about just a standalone sink. Those are the worst. And even this little shelf up here. Okay. Great size coat closet, right across from it. Your garage, breaker box, water heater, tank expander. Okay, and they left a little, I don't know what you are. Hang something on it, I guess. Some sort of storage. The garage is really clean though. Usually the garages look pretty gross after people move out. No, definitely wouldn't have to worry about fitting two SUVs in here. Okay. Next, we're gonna open up into the kitchen. I love that the kitchen's hidden from the front door because there is nothing more uncomfortable than being in your kitchen at night and knowing that you can see through the front door. Okay. You do have natural gas accessible if you did want to change your ovens and your stove. I'm going to double check with the listing agent to see if these are smart appliances. So a lot of our builders will do the smart appliances nowadays where you can, you know, preheat the oven from your phone so that when you get home, if you're super hungry, you don't have to wait on that to heat up. You got your little coffee bar next to the fridge. And the way this kitchen is laid out is actually really nice because, again, having a fridge right in the middle of everything is honestly, it sounds like it'd be okay until you actually are trying to cook and it just doesn't make any sense. So it's nice that the fridge is tucked away in its own spot. Through the lovely arch, we've got your French door pantry. I really like that they painted it a different color. Painted doors are underrated <clears throat> okay then right next to the pantry you're gonna have your laundry room it's great that they have some plumbing you could always change this out for a true vanity if you wanted to got some upper cabinets i believe just with how shiny these are these might actually be marble and not porcelain could double check on that if you wanted me to Okay, then also next to the laundry, you're gonna have your formal dining. This light fixture is easily five feet, maybe four and a half feet long. It's about as tall as I am, and then a coffered ceiling. Okay, so we're gonna loop back through. 
This house has a very formal feel with the wainscoting touches and the molding, but it also feels really casual with the wood tones that they chose. Okay, so natural gas fireplace. It's nice that they already have that little plate up there for you to mount a TV. This is probably to cover some sort of cord. Overall, the paint is in really good condition. I'm not seeing as much wear and tear as I did in the first house we saw. I mean, that's about the worst thing I've seen so far. before we go upstairs these are great i have these at our house just being able to open and close the blinds can't don't have to worry about your cats messing them up come on uh -oh. Ugh. okay three steps down you've got oversized patio Half of it covered, half of it uncovered, and then a whopping three quarters of an acre lot. This backyard is massive. All brick construction. You guys are probably going to want a riding mower for a yard like this. A really good backyard for a pool. And it's still pretty flat. I mean, there's like the tiniest slope coming downward towards the house. And that's more at the top of the fence. Okay. okay, this bolt, dead bolt, little tricky. Ugh, we are not friends. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Come on. I know you want to walk. All right, I'm going to do that later once we're done with the video because it's not wanting to work for me. Okay, upstairs, going up these beautiful oak treads. Okay, directly at your landing, to your left, you're going to have your bedroom on the right, guest bedrooms, and bonus room. So right before your bedroom, you're going to have a linen closet. Very small walk-in linen closet, but it's nice that it's actually a walk-in. Okay, vaulted ceiling with some can lights. Funky geometric accent wall. Looks like it might be wallpaper. Unless they just did a really high gloss paint. Get to look in the backyard. Honestly, you could go either way, kind of like first house we saw. You could do bed on this wall or bed on this wall. I think either one will work just fine. And they did give you a pure cable people, a little cable plug on either wall. Okay, so going into what would be your bathroom, you're going to have double vanities over on the left. Again, with that really high sheen floor. I'm going to check to see if this is marble. Okay, freestanding tub with a board and batten surround. It's nice that you have that little ledge so you can use it for storage and maybe put some picture frames up there. Standalone shower. Good size shower head too, and with the detached head, so easier to clean. And a frameless door. A lot of our builders do not do frameless shower doors. I don't know why, they look a lot cleaner and I don't think they're that much more expensive. So, really clean look. Right across in the shower, you're gonna have your water closet. Okay, and then your closet. Got a privacy sticker on the windows. 
It's a good size. Um, I would say from the other two houses we've seen, this is about the middle ground of master closets. That first one was just massive. And then the second one, really small dual closets. So this is a good size. Okay. And this little look. Pretty sure these are soft clothes too. Yep, soft clothes. <clears throat> That's an upgrade when you're building. Some builders do them standard though, depending on the price point of the house. Okay, so coming out of the master, first thing on your left is me guest room number one, pretty good size. Again, looking into the backyard <clears throat> and a French door entry, French door pantry, French door closet. Gosh, I need more caffeine. Goes in about a foot on either either side, so good storage. Okay. Directly next to this room, gonna be your bonus room. Got some pretty high ceilings in here. Oof. I don't know, maybe about 16 feet at the pitch. This is a really good sized bonus room though, and I love that they put French doors in the entry. Again, looking into the backyard. Carpet's in pretty good condition. I would just say for sanitary purposes, you know, shampooing's always good. You can ask the seller to do that. A little ding in the baseboard. Uh, just some caulk. Okay, here's the wear and tear. So I really haven't seen wear and tear on the paint anywhere else in the house. I am seeing it on this wall. So far though, as I've walked through, I really haven't seen any, you know, major issues. Like something that would just be like, oh gosh, abort mission, abort mission. Um, now that is more so the inspector's lane to tell you those things. And I mean, they're just a visual inspection. They're just going to point out things they may notice that need to repair or things that might need further inspection. So good size guest bathroom. Again, like the first one we saw where it has the tub and the toilet separate from the vanities. So, you know, if you have guests come stay the night. You can have somebody in here getting ready, other person in here showering, and they don't ever have to see each other. Okay. Continuing down the hall, we're going to have two more guest rooms. Okay. Guest room number two. Again, decent size. It's pretty good. I mean, you could easily fit a queen size bed in here with a dresser and a nightstand. Still be comfortable. Walk-in closet. Good size walk-in closet too. And then the next bedroom actually has a dueling walk-in closets, which I thought was pretty crazy for a guest room. Okay, so third and final guest room. All of them are about the same size. There's really no major difference. The last one we saw was facing the side of the house. This one is facing the front. Um, you've got a cute little football figurine over here. So I don't know what team that is. But there we go. Hopefully it's a team you guys like. Okay, so closet number one. Again, massive walk-in closet. And there's two. I'm like, holy cow. I would make this like a mini office. Okay, and then walk in. I mean, they're the size of the walls. They're huge. They're literally the entire wall. That's a good use of space. Okay, walk in closet number two for this bedroom. Same size, it's massive. All right, I'm gonna just loop you back through the house. Attic. I tend to not go in attics by myself. Okay. 
House is really clean too, so it looks like they've already had a cleaner come in, clean everything up. going to okay they use AT&T fiber for their Wi-Fi all right that's it I'm gonna go ahead and walk through one more time just to see if I see anything super alarming <clears throat> but with the house only being four years old um, I'm not you know typically you're not gonna see anything super crazy so actually I will point this out too so with the subway tile they did a wavy subway so it's not just that flat one-dimensional backsplash it gives you a little bit more texture okay that's it i'm gonna go walk around now and uh look to see if i can find anything